Now, Sebastian Gerhardt, also known as Sebastian the Magician. We are talking about an upcoming show that he has going on. Sebastian, thanks for being with us My this absolute morning. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Well, of course. Well, I guess let's start things off with what inspired this show. So I got inspired to start working on this show a little over four years ago. I'd been diagnosed with a brain tumor that the doctors told me was inoperable. And while I was in the hospital, I was thinking about what I wanted to do if I survived. And when I was thinking, I realized this show is what I wanted to do if I lived. All right. Well, and, yeah. Now, yep. now it's actually happening on the four-year anniversary of me finishing my treatment for that tumor. Oh well, wow! Congratulations. Uh, you know, we're Thank so excited so much. to have you here. Yeah. Can I ask you what did you do before you count? Did you already dabble in magic, or? Yes. No, oh. I've been doing magic for longer than I haven't been. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. No, this has been a lifelong passion of mine. All right. Well, that that that's fun. I've always kind of wanted to dabble in magic, but I don't think I'm that talented. So, uh, <laughs> how do you describe the show to our viewers? So the show is a blend of magic, mind reading, and storytelling. Um, the idea is to take those elements and use them as a metaphor for how we can each look at our day-to-day -day life and really see and appreciate the magic that happens all around us. Okay, so what, what kind of magic do you do? We kind of talked about it in the break. I do a combination of magic and mind reading, illusions. Um, I used to specialize in close-up magic, but now I'm transitioning towards a larger theatrical experience. Okay, so are, are we doing a larger theatrical experience today, or are we this doing This is something more? that's just for you and me, a nice close-up piece for us in the audience. Okay, perfect. Well, I guess let's dive into this. Are you ready? I, I'm a little nervous. Perfect, that's exactly where I need you, Judd. Perfect. Okay. So I brought some business cards with me. Okay. Okay. Nothing too fancy. If I could just have you mix these up at your fingertips, just like that. Okay, do you need to see anything that's no, happening No, we're going to keep them face down. You can mix them up until you're happy. They're in a random order. Oh, I am never happy, so. Not with life in general, just the cards. <laughs> okay. All there set? There go. Yep. Perfect. So the exact order of the cards really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But for this, I need you to say stop for me. Stop. Right here. Perfect. We'll take that, set it off to the side. And now here's what we're going to do, John. We're going to choose a number for this. All right, so I want you to imagine the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 up in the air. Okay. Now we're going to take away some of these numbers. Do you want to take away the odds or the evens? The odds. Odds. So we're going to take away the odds. We're going to take the 1, the 3, and the 5. We're going to put those over here. That leaves the 2 and the 4. Can I have you reach up and grab those for me? Just... Yeah, pretend, yes. Use okay. your imagination, Judd. Yes. Yes. Perfect. You're going to hand me 1. Which one is this? The 4. The 4. Mm -hmm. Watch the 4 real close. You might see this happen. I want you to realize what's happened here, Judd. You shuffled these cards up. It shows anyone that you wanted chose a number at random. You're not going to believe this. That is crazy. I kind of don't believe it. <laughs> Taryn, do we have enough time to have, An have Andrew come do this? No, the crazy thing is actually, Jedha, every other card. <laughs> what? It had to be that. It, it, math is involved, isn't it? No. I'm not very good at math. I do magic. Well, neither do I. That's why I do news. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not going to ask you to reveal your secrets unless you absolutely want to. Can you keep a secret? I can, but I don't know about these guys at home. So can I. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sebastian, oh my gosh. Okay, well, where can we get tickets? When and where is all of this going to be happening? Yeah, so it's happening this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Jackson's Cozy Theater in Gladewater. Uh, you can get tickets at SebastianTheMagician.com or on my Facebook page at the Eventbrite link. Sebastian the Magician is the name of the page. Okay, well, this is certainly going to be so. Is, what all can we expect really quickly at the show outside of this? It's a 90 minute experience of magic, mind reading, a little bit of laughter, comedy, but mainly storytelling, just kind of appreciation, leaving with the lens of gratitude of life. All right, well, I hope you all at home found this comical and how mind blown I was. But Sebastian, thank you so much for being with us this Thank you morning. for having me. I appreciate it. Of course, we will get this posted over on KETK. We'll be right back coming up in just a couple minutes.